Yo, what's up everybody? It's Mark One back at you guys with some ever new stuff going on today. Whatsoever. You know what? Didn't make any sense. Anyway, scratch that. I'm back. Beard is looking luscious over here. And we're going to do this whole little kind of like series a little bit. And it's basically where I like to fish at. So I'm going to give you guys probably not like in this video. I'm going to just go to each spot, record a video there at that one particular spot. One, gas is so dang expensive, and I could just chop this up into multiple parts, but I wanted to do this really quickly, but I wanted to give you guys something, like, good to, like, hang on to, you know, just a little bit. Hopefully no bees fly in my car. So, we're doing one spot today, and this is uh, the Sacramento Port Barge. So, if you guys know where that's at, like, you know, right off of uh, Jefferson and all that, um, but we are fishing the other spot today we also got some of these i don't i never had these before i take it they're just regular gummies and we're gonna um we'll get it. we're gonna try that we'll get into the details of where this at is in a second i'm pretty sure it's gonna be looking real familiar so we got these britain gummy things i picked these up at 7-eleven and so we're just gonna rip this open really quick mm. Mm. Um, it smells like uh, I don't know why gummy candies tend to smell like these ones didn't smell like that. Those will smell for me. It, it smells like like fruit, like old fruit juice in a way. Whatever. Here, let's do uh, let's do one of these. They're shaped like little raspberry. Little, Camera, little raspberries there. Okay. They're not as fruity flavored as like the Jolly Rancher gummies. I had these, I, I ended up killing like the whole bag. Um, they're not as, um, they're not as, as flavorful, but like they are very gummy and they're chewy like a chewy bounce to them. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. All right, guys. So, let's get some gear. Damn, that beer looks good, doesn't it? Check that out. Oh my God, let's take that picture. Snapshot. Okay. So, you guys might know where we're at. So, we look over here. We're just right off the road up here when you're coming down. And then we're gonna go down. There's a little hole in the gate right here. I typically park right here, right by the hole in the gate. Um, we have a variety of baits today. So, bag of baits, it's on ice. Let's go. Hopefully I have a knife in here because I don't do. All right. So. Uh, oh boy. What are we going with today? We're gonna pull out our pull out our gear first that's gonna be we're gonna be hearing that today for surely all right so we got one pole we're gonna go in with two poles today and uh as a small just like a small little like caption of everything that's going on so typically out of this place you're gonna get uh this catfish catfish are down in there um and a ton of striper now the striper can vary in size they can go from like here so you know like a couple of eight inches to you know your your good size ones this is probably like 18 19 inches and then there is a rumor that i've heard now i've heard this rumor three times now that there's a big boy down there there's a 32 inch striper lurking down there in the bottoms. Um, I don't know how true or how false that is, but understand that I'm here for it. Okay. Now what is going? We got our bag. I need to go find a knife. By the way, guys, 
guys usually have seen this knife with me before. I lost this knife. Um, actually, I made a vow on my first, um, that when I caught my fish with my daughter, our first ever fish together, that I was gonna retire the knife. Well, I was taking too long and the powers above said, your knife is now gone. And it flipped up and went straight into the water. So I guess it had its own little life and death, I guess. So we're packing this in. Like I said, we're going in today. We got two poles that we're going in with. Um, I'll go over the details and stuff like that today, but I just wanted to kind of showcase a little bit of the stuff. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go grab a knife really quick. All right. And so from here, we just have to uh, just load up everything, make sure that um, we're good to go. And so I got the knife with me. You always gotta keep the old boom stick. Gotta keep the boom stick, okay? Because uh, in the off season, when I wasn't recording, I had like a full blown like wild animal incident thingy. Luckily I made it out of there okay, but let's get to this water, y'all. All right, cool guys. This is gonna look real familiar if you guys have ever been here. This is where we're headed to. Um, let's see if I can make this journey down here with this really quick. Hopefully I don't drop my drop nothing boom that looks disgusting but we're not fishing here all right guys this is it so this is where we're fishing at today the water does not look the cleanest but here we are trying to get it in so like i said son of striper look at the baby ducks down there ton of striper ton of uh there's some regular bass down here and there's also um catfish Whew. guys sorry i had a had a phone call so couldn't really um do too much show you guys all my setup and stuff but we got one striper little bug guy not too big probably about 16 inches or so uh we're gonna get this guy back in the water and then keep going Whew, it's hot out here but as you guys can see right so there's the port barge right here or the other way to the port barge so we're on the opening part of it all and um right now i'm just throwing out some sardines and stuff so i got my two poles set up here this one is using like a quarter ounce just to get it down there um that one that one that one is a, a, an overkill um that one i think is using like a two ounce weight why do i have a two ounce weight i don't i don't know i, I do these things um so there's no real current in here um what you're seeing is not the other side there's like a wall right here the water flowing down uh there's like all kinds of little stuff out here uh course like that's all abandoned um if you guys can help get me to a thousand subscribers get me to a thousand subscribers i will go explore that in there no questions asked um and i know because i i kind of i kind of peeked in there once before and um it's creepy it's creepy i only peeked down in there like i walked inside a little bit and then i noticed that it goes down and it goes down even further and then it goes into a little another little um i don't know how far it goes down into like another little cross space but i looked down in there and i was like yep this ain't for me um and then i got up out of there but yeah you guys get me to a thousand subscribers i'll go explore all of the all the buildings and i'll take you guys with me so right now we got one pole two pole uh the bite's kind of slowed down right now it's kind of hot so far uh I've caught two, so you guys seen one. I was on the phone for the other one, so yeah. But I'll keep you guys updated. Like I said, this place is 
super chill, super easy to get to. Um, and you catch a lot of striper here. If you catch the bite at the right time. Now, um, I'll save you guys a little bit of research time and trying to figure that out, do the science and all that. I'll tell you right now, the good bite times are between 10.30 and like 12, 12.30. So about that two hour window. Right now we're outside of that window. We're probably about 1.30, one, we're almost two o'clock almost, I think. Um, and that's about the window. So right now it's in a slower, everything is about to slow down. Um, we're not gonna be getting those big crazy bites right now. So um, every now and again, so the fish could be down right here, or they could be down over here, or they could be back that way. Who knows? All right, guys, uh, here we go. We're back with another one. This is a bigger one, too. You guys don't even know, like I set this hook, like I set this hook, I didn't set the hook hard. Let me go grab something to grab him. Guys, don't know, like I really do not like grabbing fish sometimes. It's crazy I do this all the time, but in some cases, especially when they get to flopping around like this, it makes it hard. But here we guys. Here we go. Good size one. Uh, probably give them about uh, close to about 17 inches. Definitely bigger than 16. So, but another release. Ah, and there he goes. They swim off so fast. Sheesh! So, I'll take you guys over to my bait really quick. So. We're using uh, some sardines. Um, in a second, I'm probably gonna take my phone to go charge. We got out here, I don't know what time I got out here, but uh, I think I got out here about 11.30, 12 o'clock, somewhere around there. So we're, we're doing pretty good actually on the fishing part of it. So uh, that's fish number three, it's number three. And uh, let's see how long we can go till we catch another one, yeah? All right, here's the release of the big one. I got big hands, so it's a big fish, trust me. There we go. And down you go. Sheesh, it's a long way down. Yo, before I freaking forget, so we finished it all up. The fishing we caught four of them uh didn't really get a chance to film me catching them all it was kind of happening like really really quickly but that's all we got today um before we go we're gonna try this really quick i forgot to showcase uh, this right here that's that flaming hot mountain dew i don't i do not buy stuff like this so strictly for you guys man like It smells like, it smells like Mountain Dew. Oh no. Mm. It's hot. Like, it, it's like a little kick in the back of the throat. Why is it back there though? But whew, it's not bad though. The flavor is good. Aftertaste, not so much. Anyways, this is Merc One signing out, y'all.